Hare Krishna, this morning I'm re- reading from Sri Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 3, entitled The Birth of Lord Krishna, Text 6 through 8. <clears throat> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya It's text 8 on the board. <coughs> I'll read text 6, 7, then we can do the uh, 6 we can, with translation. We do 7 and 8 with first. Text six. Tagu kinara gandavas to tus to who said a charana. With your harasha nan ritur. Absor who be samam mudha. Translation. The kinners and guide haras began to sing auspicious songs. The siddhas and charanas offered auspicious prayers. And their vidyad haris along with the apsaras began to dance in jubilation. Text 7, Mumuchi Murayo Deva, Sumanam Si Mudan Vitaha Mandam Mandam Jaladhara Jagad Ju Anusagaram. Text 8, Nishite Tama Udbhute. Nishite tama udhute Jayamani janardane Jayamani janardane Devakyam deva rupinam Devakyam deva rupinam Vishnu Sarva Guhar Shayan Vishnu Sarva Guhar Shayan Avira Sidyata Pratyam Avira Sidyata Pratyam Dishindu Riva Pushkala Dishindur Eva Pushkala Nishite Tama Udhute Jayamani Janarnan Tane Deva Kyam Deva Rupin Yang Vishnu Sarva Guhashaya Abhivar Shidyata Pratsham Dishindu Riva Pushkala Nishite Tama Udbhute Jayamani Janadane Deva Kyam Rup Deva Rupin Yang Vishnu Sarva Guhashaya Aviva Siddhita Pratsham this in the river Pushkala. Nisite, late at night, Tama Udpute, when it was densely dark, Jayamani, on the appearance of Janadini, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Vishnu, Devakyam, in the womb of Devaki, Devarupinyam, who was in the same category as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ananda Chin Moirasa Pratidit Ha Bhi, in brackets. Vishnu, 
Lord Vishnu, the Supreme Lord, Savaguhu Shayaha, who is situated in the core of everyone's heart. Abhirasit appeared. Yata as Pracham Dishi in the East. Hindu, Eva, like the full moon, Pushkalaha, complete in every respect. Translations <laughs> The demigods and great saintly persons showered flowers in a joyous mood, and the clouds gathered in the sky and very mildly thundered, making sounds like those of the ocean's waves. Then the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu, who is situated in the core of everyone's heart, appeared from the heart of Devaki in the dense darkness of night, like the full moon rising on the eastern horizon, because Devaki, Devaki was of the same category as Sri Krishna. Please repeat. The demigods and great saintly persons showered flowers in a joyous mood, <coughs> and clouds gathered in the sky, and very mildly thundered, making sounds like those of the ocean's waves. Then the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu, who is situated in the core, of everyone's heart, appeared from the heart of Devaki, in the dense darkness of night, like the full moon rising on the eastern horizon, because Devaki was of the same category as Sri Krishna. Prabhupada is the Vanga CC Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada. Okay. As stated in the Brahma Samhita 537 Ananda Chinmoya Rasa Prit Abhis Govinda Mari Purisham Tamaham Vajani. This verse indicates that Krishna and his entourage are of the same spiritual potency, Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. Krishna's father, his mother, his friends, the cowherd boys, the cows, are all expansions of Krishna, as will be explained in the Brahma Vihamohan Lila. Vihamohan Lila. When Brahma took away Krishna's associates, to test the supremacy of Lord Krishna, the Lord expanded himself again in the forms of the many cowherd boys and calves, all of whom, as Brahma saw, were Vishnumurtis. Devaki is also an expansion of Krishna, and therefore this verse says, Devakyam Devarupinyam Vishnu Sava Guhashaya. At the time for the Lord's appearance, the great sages and the demigods, being pleased, began to shower flowers. At the seashore, there was a sound of mild waves, and above the sea there were clouds in the sky which began to thunder very pleasingly. When things were adjusted like this, Lord Vishnu, who is residing within the heart of every living entity, appeared in the darkness of night as the Supreme Personality of Godhead before Devaki, who appeared as one of the demigoddesses. The appearance of Lord Vishnu at that time could be compared to the rising of the full moon in the sky on the eastern horizon. The objection may be raised that since Lord Krishna appeared on the eighth day of the waxing moon, waning moon, sorry, there could be no rising of the full moon. 
In answer to this, it may be said, the Lord Krishna appeared in the dynasty which is the hierarchy of the moon. Therefore, although the moon was incomplete on that night, because of the Lord's appearance in the dynasty, wherein the moon is himself the original person, the moon was in an overjoyous condition. So, by the grace of Krishna, he could appear as a full moon. To welcome the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the waning moon became a full moon in jubilation. Instead of a Instead of Deva Rupinyam, some texts of Srimad Bhagavatam clearly say Vishnu Rupinyam. In either case, the meaning is that Devaki has the same spiritual form as the Lord. The Lord is Satchit Ananda Vigraha, and Devaki is also Satchit Ananda Vigraha. Therefore, no one can find any fault in the way the Supreme Personality of Godhead Satchit Ananda Vigraha appeared from the womb of Devaki. Those who are not in full knowledge that the appearance and disappearance of the Lord are transcendental, Janma Kama, Chame Dibyam, are sometimes surprised that the Supreme Personality of Godhead can take birth like an ordinary child. Actually, however, the Lord's birth is never ordinary. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is already situated within the core of everyone's heart as an Jayami, the Super Soul. Thus, because he was present in full potency in Devaki's heart, he was also able to appear outside her body. One of the twelve great personalities is Bhishmadev, Swayambhu Narada Shambhu Kumar, Kapilo Muni Palado Janako Bhishmaha. In Srimad Bhagavatam 1942, Bhishma, a great authority to be followed by devotees, says that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is situated in the core of everyone's heart, just as the sun may be on everyone's head. Yet, Although the sun may be on the heads of millions and millions of people, this does not mean that the sun is variously situated. Similarly, because the Supreme Personality of Godhead has inconceivable potencies, he can be within everyone's heart and yet not be situated variously. Ekatvam anupasyataha Ishupanishad number seven. The Lord is one, but he can appear in everyone's heart by his inconceivable potency. Thus, although the Lord was within the heart of Devaki, he appeared as her child. According to the Vishnu Purana, that therefore, as quoted in the Vaishnava Toshani, the Lord appeared like the sun, Anugrahayas Anugrahayascha. Anuga Hasaya. The Brahma Samhita 535 confirms that the Lord is situated even within the atom. He is situated in Mathura, in Vaikuntha, and in the core of the heart. Therefore, one should clearly understand that he did not live like an ordinary child in the heart or the womb of Devaki nor did he appear like an ordinary human child, although he seemed to do so in order to bewilder asuras like Kamsa. The asuras wrongly think that Krishna took birth like an ordinary child and passed away from this world like an ordinary man. Such asuric conceptions are rejected by persons in knowledge of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ajo Pisan Abhyayatma Bhutanam Ishvaro Pisan Bhagavad Gita 4.6 As stated in the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord is Ajya, unborn, and He is the supreme control of everything. Nonetheless, He appeared as a child of Devaki. This verse describes the inconceivable potency of the Lord who appeared like the full moon. Understanding the special significance of the appearance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, 
one should never regard him, him as taking birth like an ordinary child. End of purpose. Omagyan Tananda Syagan and Gan Stataya Chakshuran Kasmai Sivirina. Maum Shumdaya Krishna Prasai Vutarez Mati Bhakti Vidanta Swami Niti Namini. Namasti Sarasati Devi Guravani Pachani Nehini Vishesha Shanavari Kasar Satani Ni. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Grada Shri Basari Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare Hare Translation again I'll read the translation from the first Yesterday's we heard, we can hear again, just, just to set the scene, to make, to understand what the environment was like when Lord Krishna decided to appear here on the earth planet in the district of Mathura, UP. This is text one, one to six. <laughs> Therefore, at this precious time for the appearance of the Lord, the entire universe the universe was surcharged with the qualities of goodness, beauty, and peace. The constellation Rohini appeared as did stars like Ashvini. The sun, the moon, and other stars and planets were very peaceful. All directions appeared extremely pleasing, and the beautiful stars twinkled in the cloudless sky. Decorated with towns, villages, mines, pasturing grounds, the earth seemed all auspicious. The rivers flowed with clear waters and the lakes and vast reservoirs full of lilies and lotuses were extraordinarily beautiful. In the trees and green plants, full of flowers and leaves, pleasing to the eyes, birds like cuckoos and swarms of bees began chanting with sweet voices for the sake of the demigods. A pure breeze began to blow, pleasing the sense of touch and bearing the aroma of flowers. And when the brahmanas engaging in ritualistic, ritualistic ceremonies ignited their fires according to Vedic principles, the fires burned steadily, undisturbed by the breeze. Thus, when the birthless Lord Mishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, was about to appear, the saints and brahmanas, who had always been disturbed by demons like Kamsa and his men, felt peace within the core of their hearts, and kettle drums simultaneously vibrated from the upper planetary systems. Six, the Kinneras and Gadharvas began to sing auspicious songs. The Siddhas and Charanas offered auspicious prayers, and the Vidyaharis, along with the Apsaras, began to dance in jubilation. The demigods and great saintly persons showered flowers in a joyous mood, and clouds gathered in the sky and very mildly thundered making sound like those of the ocean's waves. Then the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu, who is situated in the core of everyone's heart, appeared from the heart of Devaki in the dense darkness of night, like the full moon rising on the eastern horizon, because Devaki was of the same category as Sri Vishnu. So the Lord is going to appear, so everything becomes very, very auspicious. He's going to appear in this <clears throat> mundane world out of his causeless mercy to <clears throat> give pleasure to his devotees and <clears throat> re-establish proper religious principles, which in course of time become degraded. So this is, so then the Lord appears from, from time to time, and when he does, everything becomes auspicious. Just like when Mahaprabhu appeared, everything became auspicious. Even before he appeared, the uh, place became very opulent, living was easy. When he appeared, it, oh, same situation, everyone was, it was on an <laughs> eclipse. As Krishna appeared on, the, it says he appeared on the full moon, or, although we know Krishna appeared on the Astami, eighth day, 
is mentioned here because of the happiness of the moon, Soma, that the Lord had actually appeared on earth. And so it's so delighted that he made the personification of the moon. Then he made he made it appear like a, a full moon in, 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 in great happiness to please the Lord. And the co different constellations, stars, they adjusted themselves into very auspicious um, constellations. And the weather was very nice, right? very pleasing to touch. The, the wind was very soothing and aromatic from the flowers and the sounds. <clears throat> So everything was, all the senses, all the senses were very, very satisfied. Everything was really pleasing. Sound, the ears, the smell, the sight. With Krishna's appearance, the most auspicious thing to happen in this world, the Supreme Personality of Godhead directly, it comes from the spiritual world and appears in the material, material existence, perform these wonderful pastimes. <laughs> So making a point here, we should not con we should not confuse that the Lord appears like an ordinary person, although it apparently he appeared from the womb of Devaki. As to be great, at first he appeared in the mind of Vasudev. Then he appeared in the in in the, the mind of the womb of, of Rohini Devi. Uh, we said because Um, the Lord is the Lord is situated everywhere anyway as the super soul is situated within the atom so it wasn't an ordinary birth the Lord was inside her and suddenly appeared outside her it wasn't like ordinary <clears throat> there was no there was no pains there was no you know he appeared with with, with long hair <clears throat> with Ornamented ornaments on his arms and clothing, and he's presented himself like like that. That's how it appears. It definitely wasn't an ordinary birth. The Lord can appear. <clears throat> he has the Lord has multi potencies, inconceivable potencies, and he can appear wherever he likes. If he's everywhere now, is with every every atom. There's <clears throat> there's hundreds and millions of Vishnu's in this room right now. No? Between, in, in every atom and between every atom, not just in our hearts, of the living entities, he's everywhere. <clears throat> and one of those, he's, he's all, uh, all powerful, omnipotent, there's none different. One can appear here. One little, smaller than an atom, can appear in the room if he wants. Not difficult for him, he's already here. <clears throat> But we cannot we cannot perceive uh, <clears throat> unfortunately but when his time is right when one is qualified then one then the, the, one can actually perceive the Lord as Devaki did so like it says the, when the sun is shining on many people many millions of people it's just one sun but it's also appearing your feet, you're experiencing the sun in the form of the light and heat, right? But it's just, just one sun, but it's appearing to many thousands, millions of people at once. Or oh, another example is at the pots. Many pots of water, and the sun is, you see the sun is reflecting in all of those pots. The influence will be felt, there'll be heat, light coming from the, you can see the sun in each pot. <clears throat> but actually the sun is situated in one place. By its inconceivable energy, it's appearing in the different parts. But it's, the sun is always situated in one place. If you if if you think that the Earth goes round the sun, <clears throat> but uh, but somewhere now the sun is setting, right? In some part of the world, the sun is setting. Just people are watching the sun. Another part of the world, they're watching the sun come up, and here it's it's coming up in the sky. And other places, it's in the meridian right overhead. So everyone is perceiving the sun according to their own 
to her own perspective. <coughs> but it's the same sun, the same sun is setting, the same sun is rising, the same sun is at the meridian. The same sun is invisible on the other side of the planet. <coughs> it's, just, it's, a, it's only one sun, it's perceived differently. So, <laughs> these are the examples that we can help, help us to understand. So, he said, you know, and she appeared from, De he appeared from, Devaki, Devaki is the <coughs> same category. It <coughs> means the Lord's body is Satchitananda, and Devaki's body is also Satchitananda. The Lord can't appear from material, I mean, he could, he can do anything, but he, <coughs> the Lord takes he, 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 he takes his uh, birth and appearance and activities, that's all done in the chit shakti, in the spiritual energy. It's a sh that same shakti divides into the material energy, it becomes, it manifests as a material energy, a temporary manifestation. <clears throat> but the Lord, the Lord enters into that also, He enters into the temporary manifestation of His one chit potency, which has become many, many, many different types of potencies, but basically it's entry, the spiritual material and the marginal, and we're in the marginal category, that, and that, but the actual existence of the living entity is Satchitananda, that's the actual, actual position, that's the actual category of the, <coughs> of the living entity, the soul proper. So, but, but uh, Devaki is not an ordinary person, she, but a soul like us. She is the, she's, she's, her body is also made of Sachit Ananda. <clears throat> she's the eternal mother of Vishnu. Eternal, she, she, she's also appeared here by the Lord's will. Because the Lord is going to appear here, he's not going to touch the material energy. <clears throat> so then by his desire, then it, then they, <clears throat> Uh, the Lord's associates they appear here, and that, <clears throat> and sudden all and the the place appears here. So the <clears throat> so then the material manifestation, what we see, like the prakat uh, lila, it means that the material what we see takes uh, it is transformed into spiritual, and we can see it, but you can't you can't uh, tell any difference between spirit and matter. <clears throat> It looks the same, but actually it's, it's, it's spiritual, but we can't perceive that, <coughs> the conditioned soul. You can see it, but you can't actually perceive it. Just like we see, <coughs> just like we, we see the deity of Krishna, <coughs> but we don't feel him necessarily, because his Krishna is directly the Supreme Personality of Godhead. <coughs> but because we have, don't have that adhika, we're not on that platform of Satchitananda, then we're seeing stone, metal and wood. Or when you chant the name of Krishna, Krishna, we don't, our hairs don't stand on end and our body doesn't tremble and tears don't come to our eyes, generally. Because <coughs> when actually, we're actually perceiving that the name of Krishna is something different. We're not been able to perceive that that is actually also Sachit Ananda. The Lord, so the, the, the Lord, when he appears in the material, when he makes these pastimes visible in the material world, it's more or less exactly, exactly the same as what goes on in the spiritual world. The <clears throat> Satchitananda Vigraha, the, the, the first, the Sat, or Sandhini, that's the first potency. <clears throat> that, that's the that creates the stage, that creates everything, from Krishna's Shrupa Sakti. <laughs> that creates, then, the, then there's, then the, uh, and also in some areas it creates the persons, and sometimes they create, they're, they're also created by the uh, chit potency in the form of the sambit, <clears throat> which is considered knowledge also, but also it's, it's uh, a nas. Uh, Balaram, he's the personification of the summit potency. 
So then there's cognition, there's knowledge of what's going on. Huh? <clears throat> so first is the Sambit, Santini potency, that's the stage. <clears throat> but it's from the same Sanchit Ananda, so the uh, Sat or Sandini, that comes, that's first. Right? Stage. <clears throat> then there's consciousness, huh? knowledge knowledge, consciousness of, what, of what's going on, so there's, there's function, there's activity that can go on, there's awareness of what is going on. And then there's Ananda, which is personified in, in Radharani. <clears throat> uh, so that's the, that's, the, that's the pleasure potency, when, the, when there's, 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 the, there's the field, and there's the people, and everything, Huh? The trees, the plants, the birds, the fishes, the humans, the cows, the animals, everything, the mountains. There, there, then when there's, there's interaction, when there's knowledge, then there's interaction. That's the chitta consciousness, sandin, uh, sambit. <laughs> and when that takes place, with, when one is I I imbued with bhakti, when that takes place, then the, then the ananda appears, the bliss appears. That's the, uh, that's the ambience of the spiritual world. Those, those three, just like here, we have three gunas, Raja, Samat, Tattva, <coughs> they're, they're a reflection of the spiritual world, where they have this Satchitananda, Sandhini, Sambhitan, Haladini. <coughs> and just like here, it says the, the modes are competing for supremacy. Sometimes one is prominent and the other two are subdued. It's the same way. Say a similar thing in there. When the when the chit, chit is a prominent, Sandhini is prominent. Then there's a there's a revelation of of the of the majesty of the, the glory of everything. Of so, oh, that becomes prominent. When Haladini is when Haladini is prominent, then that's that felt as as love of God, God Krishna. That is experienced in its perfection as love of Krishna. So there's always that variegatedness is is going on between those three. Um, <clears throat> so that, that's, <laughs> Balaram expands, so it expands as Krishna's mother, father also. Mm. So therefore she is the same category as Krishna. We heard previously how he, she was purified by those sat, huh, critical, it's the six babies who, who represented love, sangha, Greed, love, huh? mud, all these, these bad qualities, material qualities, they represented those which were gradually removed, comes to kill them. Then Balaram came. Balaram came and spiritualized it. <clears throat> and then Krishna could come. So she was, <clears throat> so she was, uh, that was giving it, but she was all she's always Krishna's mother, so she's always actually such as Ananda. <clears throat> but that uh, pastime was there for different reasons. The the Satgavas had to be killed by their father in a previous birth, so <clears throat> that was induced like that. Then the exam example was, was given then of how one should be free from these things if one actually wants to perceive Krishna, perceive Krishna in the heart. Krishna is in our heart, and he was in Devaki's heart, so we can also perceive him in the heart if there is huh, devotion. That is the, the jellying agent. <clears throat> it is the, the Sandini. We have the Sandini. We have Sandini, we have Haladini, we have Sambit also. When the, when the Sambit is the consciousness and the knowledge that we are the Krishna's eternal servants, we gaze in, 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 in that service to servants to Krishna, then by Krishna's mercy, because we don't have enough Shakti of our, our Haladini, what we're made of is tiny, it doesn't have enough to reach Krishna, to attract Krishna. Rather, when it says when the living entity displays 
they had a in it. You become attracted by the glamour of the material world. It says, it says in the CC, instead of coming mad in love with Krishna, you become, you become mad, intoxicated with the material world. But when Krishna, when there's, when, when there's, when Krishna's uh, pleased by your endeavor, then his Haladini descends, mixes with ours, and there's enough. So the, so the Haladini Shakti and the Sambit Shakti combine, that is called Bhakti or, or, or Prema. <coughs> then you can actually perceive it. So it, we, we depend on, actually on the Lord's mercy. We don't have enough potency by ourselves. So the, the key is, is devotion, affection for Krishna. That is what one uh, is, is required to have. Um, anyway, so but Devaki was a, a, an internal associate of the law, so she, she uh, here, it, it, was, it wasn't difficult for the law to appear from her, so we shouldn't think that she was an ordinary woman who got pregnant in the ordinary way and delivered a child in the ordinary way, because the, the history is not like that. What we're hearing and what we what actually happened is not like that. He was he appeared outside of her womb. You have fully grown as a baby, fully developed and with clothes and ornaments on. So that's that's not an ordinary birth. So and and here we if we accept this if we accept that's not an ordinary birth we understand that Krishna's appearance, his activities and his disappearance. Then one doesn't have to take breath again. So we should. It's, it's, it's not. A, it's not a very difficult thing to comprehend. To realize it may be difficult to to, to comprehend, <clears throat> but what it means it, it is actually knowing the difference. Knowing the difference means, you know, when you know something, it means actual perception. <clears throat> That's when you really know something when you can perceive it. So it's not not. Really, just a question of understanding that I, a belief that Krishna doesn't take birth like an ordinary person, and he doesn't leave like an ordinary person. That's a, that's a, a belief that we, a conviction that we have. <clears throat> but actually, knowing Krishna says when he knows it, knowing that means there's revelation there. So <clears throat> that's the revelation. That, and then you don't take birth again if there's revelation there. That's by Krishna's mercy. Because you do accept Krishna as a supreme personality, but it, and you're faith with work, work, serving him faithfully, favorably, <clears throat> trying to evoke or, or reawaken that love for him again. So when Krishna's pleased with that endeavor and our process that we are following, means it's through the parampara, then when then he dis, he bestows that mercy, he he gives that extra uh, haladini potency that we can actually. Um, Feel him, no Krishna, in, in fact, by direct perception. <clears throat> so this is the, this is what we, we, we should be doing. <clears throat> so Krishna's playing his part. <clears throat> he's coming here. He's given us all this information of who we are, uh, who we think we are, and how we can overcome this illusion, what the material world is, what the spiritual world is, <clears throat> and, and how to uh, we establish our relationship with him instead of his the internal energy instead of the external energy. So he's given all this facility, he's given all this knowledge, and then he actually comes and shows, demonstrates how he is the supreme personality of Godhead, how he's not dependent on material energy, but it's dependent on him. So Krishna is playing his part, he's done everything he can do. Now he says it's up to you. Now you you just I'm giving you all the knowledge. And I give you the tools and the, the the ability in which to execute execute this program and with faith and love. So that's that's up to that's up to us. It's not going to it's not going to be, that's the work we have to do. The material world is a test. The material life is a test. <coughs> so, if we can do that, if we pass it, if we pass it, if, we, if we're sincerely serving, serving the Lord in the way that He prescribes, then there's every chance that He show His favor, and then we'll be able to know Him directly by His gorgeous mercy. Then we don't have to take breath again. We can go back to heaven. <laughs>
Yeah. There's no questions. We can speak a little of Prabhupada's arrival in America. Any questions, comments? One. Thank you. Uh, you know about the direction, which uh, kind of uh, activities or the situation is there? I can't hear you. Which kind of uh, activity does the other official perform for the city in the movement? Something? This the security system is not good here. Yeah, yes, Damien. Huh? What kind of activities did the Vaku perform to get Krishna a womb? Hang upside down on a tree for 50,000 celestial years, eating leaves, and it's simple. <laughs> Oh, she's the eternal mother. Devaki is the eternal mother of Krishna, and Devaki is the eternal father. <clears throat> so when his pastime comes to appear, then they come before him. And then other, other demigods and other, uh, demigod thing, uh, and other sages and rishis like Krishna and Sutapa, <clears throat> they want Krishna as a son. So they perform these activities to get Krishna as a son, and Krishna blesses them, I will be your son. So that when, when, they, when they back in Vasudev they come from the spiritual world, then those portions, those demigods, Krishna and Siddhartha, they enter into the body of Vasudev and Devaki. <clears throat> so that several people may come and join in, <clears throat> and they get their desire fulfilled by the Lord to have him as a son. And when the Lord leaves, then they go back to their respective positions, and Devaki goes back to the Dwarka. And his daughter goes back to no, Goloka. So that, that's, that's the um, meta metaphysics. No, it works. But they, they did a lot of austerities. But that was the time of austerities. I think it was in Tatiyuga. Not possible now, but. Uh, <laughs> Now, only, the only austerity is chanting Hare Krishna. And it's the only practical thing. Kalo nasti, vanasti, vanasti, none of these other things are possible. We chant Hare Krishna. That's our only austerity necessary. Okay, today is the day. <laughs> I guess it must be the titi. Prabhupada arrived in, 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 in America. <clears throat> this is uh, 1965. <clears throat> anyway, Sri Paul Party, he worked um, on the, on the order of his spiritual master to take this Krishna consciousness to the English-speaking world. <clears throat> he took that, he was meditating on that for many, many years. And, uh, and then he took sannyas. Then he was free to, you know, his business was taken away, his family was taken away. Then he was free to devote his time to his, his, his Guru Maharaj's mission. And uh, very difficult because he was alone. So he had, and, and he was advised to, he was writing a Back to Godhead magazine, but he uh, was advised to write books because books, people take it more seriously if, you, if you've got a book rather than a, a magazine. So he, <clears throat> you know, 
So he decided to write, translate the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is a huge work. Even some of his god brothers, other why you why you take them already Madhavacharya has a commentary and <clears throat> why are you taking such a big thing? You're old, already old. But anyway he took that he took that task to translate. Because he did find go to go to the west west. And that was actually a good one because when when actually he printed the first volume of Srimad Bhagavatam, he had to collect money for it. Then he had to he went to buy the paper, take the paper to the printers, <clears throat> give them the thing, they would do the proof, he would he would proofread it, give it back, they would print it, he would check it again. <clears throat> and um and then they would they would they would print it, they would give him some copies, he would sell them, give him some money, they would give him more copies. Like that. That's very, very very slow, very arduous task, but <clears throat> when he was in, in Delhi, in, say, in, in Chippa, Chippawadi, <laughs> then uh, he was, he had, a, he had a, 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 a book, he used to take his books to one shop, and they would sell them for him. He said they were good books, the, the, the bookshop man said they were good books. There was a best one, best English version, because it had the common Sanskrit, the, the uh, translation, then the commentary in English. He said it was the best one, best one available. <clears throat> and, you know, because Prabhupada was a sannyasi and the culture here in India, he saw many influential people. He met the vice president of India, he met the president of India, gave them the prime minister of India, <clears throat> gave, them, gave them books. And uh, he, like this, he, but he had to to really endeavor to do it. When he, when he had the first three books published, then he thought he had something to go with. So when he, he didn't have any money with him, he didn't, he didn't, have, a, he didn't have a ticket, he didn't have a passport. <laughs> he began to think, how am I, now I've got the books, now how am I going to get to the West? You know, nothing. And then <clears throat> he met someone who he was invited to lunch, and this person said he has a son in America, studying engineering in America. So he said, why didn't you ask him if he can, I want to go to America, can he help me? He said, yeah, he can, he can sponsor you. <laughs> so Papa didn't take it very seriously. He nodded that to devote that to boy, go Paul. I go, well, <laughs> because he had sponsored a few studies from his father, but no one ever came. So he was very surprised when he got a letter, two weeks, I'm coming in two weeks. And how are we going to, what are we going to do at the saddle in, in the house? And it was, it was kind of a little strange for them. So, <clears throat> yeah. but, he, but he had to endeavor very hard, hard for that to get there. Then finally, when, when he got that confirmation that the, the, he, he could go to America from the American embassy, then he, <clears throat> then he has no money. He's got to get there. He has no ticket. He has no money. He has no passport. He has to get all these documents. So then he's very busy doing all these things. And uh, so eventually he goes to the to Bombay, Simati Maharaji, the has a cargo steamship company. He, she helped him publish one of the books before. She gave him a big donation to publish the books. So we went back there and asked her for a for a, a free ticket. She wasn't willing to give it. She said, it's very difficult. It's a month. It takes over one month on the boat and the, the ocean is very rough. And you're an old man. It's, yeah. <clears throat> but Prabhupada was very determined and he practically forced her to give him a, give him a ticket. Mm. But it was difficult. He had two heart attacks. He was seasick for weeks and weeks on end. It's horrible being seasick on the boat. There's no escape. You can't get away from it. I went three days once on the boat. And First two days are horrible. I couldn't eat, couldn't do anything. Just and you can't, you can't stop it <clears throat> till you get off. Till you actually get off, off the boat. Uh, uh, yeah, he had, and he had <clears throat> two heart attacks. He thought he was going to. If there was another one, he thought sure he wouldn't make it. It was really quite severe. But Krishna, he had a dream of Krishna who came, but all the incarnations of Krishna were in a boat and they were rowing a boat. And he said, come on, come on, don't give up. You must, you come on. 
So he got great encouragement from that. <clears throat> and also Krishna appeared in another way. He didn't mention this. It today he appeared in a very nice way. <clears throat> um, when will I be with you again running through the fields of Raja? He didn't exactly say what the dream was. But <clears throat> so finally then they, uh, then they, they, they arrived on the, in um, Boston Harbor was the first place because the, the boat first and the captain took him because the captain was going shopping so the captain took him on so we got some relief from the from the seasickness there and also he, he did all his paperwork there because he was entering into the <clears throat> into enter into an America there so <clears throat> I just read some of the meditations or how I was writing. He kept a diary. There's a book published called the Jaladuta Diary. Big, a big book. You can read that if you want. <clears throat> um, so he, he probably wrote a lot of things there. This is one of the. <clears throat> this was on the September the ninth, Boston. So at, at four this afternoon, we crossed it over the Atlantic. For 24 hours, the, the day was clear and smooth. I'm taking my food regularly and have some strength to struggle. There's also a slight packing of the ship, but I'm feeling a slight headache, but I'm struggling. And the nectarine of my life is Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, the source of my, all my vitality. He took a copy of Chaitanya Charitamrita to read on the way. He said that, that actually saved his life. <clears throat> then next day, today the ship is, is going very smoothly, I feel better, but I'm feeling separation from Vrindavan and my lords, Sri Govinda, Gopinath and Radha Damodar. The only solace is Chaitanya Chaitanya in which I am tasting the nectarine of Lord Chaitanya's Leela. I have left Bharat Varsha just to execute the order of Srila Bhaktivedanta Saraswati in pursuance of Lord Chaitanya's order I have no qualification, but have taken up the risk just to carry out the order of His Divine Grace. I depend fully on their mercy, so far away from Vrindavan. <clears throat> then he wrote the poem. This is when he, he saw Krishna, that poem, the last verse of that poem. Today that remembrance of you, Krishna, <clears throat> came in in that very nice way. Because I had a great longing, I called for you. I am your eternal servant, and therefore I desire your associations so much. O Lord Krishna, except for you, there is no means of success. Then, <clears throat> while he was waiting for the docking in Boston Harbor, this is, he wrote this famous, famous stanza. My dear Lord Krishna, you are so kind on this useless soul, but I do not know why you have brought me here. Now you can do whatever you like with me. But I guess you must have some business here, otherwise why would you bring me to this terrible place? Most of the population here is covered by the material modes of ignorance and passion. Absorbed in material life, they think themselves very happy and satisfied. And therefore, they have no taste for the transcendental message of Vasudev Krishna. I do not know how they will be able to understand it, but I know that your cause's mercy can make everything possible, because you are the most expert mystic. How will they understand the mellows of devotional service? O oh Lord, I am simply praying for your mercy that I will be able to convince them about your message. All living entities have come under the control of the illusory energy by your will. And therefore, if you like, by your will, they can also be released from the clutches of Maya. I wish that you may deliver them. Therefore, if you so desire their deliverance, then only will they be able to understand your message. How will I make them understand the message of Krishna consciousness? I am very unfortunate, unqualified, and the most fallen. Therefore, I am seeking your benediction so that I can convince them, for I am powerless to do so on my own. 
Samawada, O Lord, you have brought me here to speak about you. Now, my Lord, it is up to you to make me a success or failure as you like. O spiritual master of all the worlds, I can simply repeat your message. So if you like, you can make my power of speaking suitable for their understanding. Only by your cause's mercy will my words become pure. I am sure that when this transcendental message penetrates their hearts, they will certainly feel gladdened and thus become liberated from all unhappy conditions of life. O oh Lord, I am just like a puppet in your hands. So if you have brought me here to dance, then make me dance, make me dance, O oh Lord, make me dance as you like. I have no devotion, nor do I have any knowledge, but I have strong faith in the holy name of Krishna. I have been designated as Bhaktivedanta, and now, if you like, you can, conf you can fulfill the real purport of Bhaktivedanta. Signed, the most unfortunate, insignificant beggar, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, on board the ship Jaladuta, Commonwealth Pier, Boston, Massachusetts, USA, dated the 18th of September, 1965. The Popa the key. Sure. 18th December. September. I don't know why I'm observing today. Maybe today is a titi, because today is the 21st, I guess. <clears throat> so here, here Prabhupada is saying the same thing. It's by your mercy, Krishna. I don't have any bhakti, I don't have any knowledge in his humility. <clears throat> because humility develops as one advances, the humility develops also. So he's understanding he has no mercy. We're dependent on that Haladini Shakti <laughs> and some bit Shakti from Krishna to be able to realize our relationship with Krishna. In, in that. So we're waiting for His mercy. <clears throat> in the meantime, we have to endeavor to uh, execute the, the, the Krishna's orders following, following in the, uh, the, the Parampara. So Prabhupada is speaking like that. He's feeling very helpless. It was very helpful. I didn't know where to go. When I got off the boat, I didn't know whether to go left or right. He had how much? 40 rupees. So a few hours spending money in America. That's all he had. <clears throat> he wasn't sure what was going to happen when he got off, whether the person would be there to meet him or... Mm. But um, because of his uh, great enthusiasm and the blessings of his spiritual master, then he uh, again struggled. For one year, it was a great struggle. Mm -hmm. Once staying, staying here and there, and <laughs> cooking, cooking for himself. But uh, by his perseverance and his, as he said, his great faith in the holy name of Krishna, and uh, uh, and by his, his, his that of chanting the holy faith in, in Guru and Krishna in the scripture, then he did something wonderful. He was just like. Just like Krishna appeared in Mathura, Prabhupada appeared in, a, in America. Krishna only appears in Bharatvasha, because here they follow Varnashram. In the, if, if the Lord appeared in, in the West and he went to someone's door, they would, the dog would come or they'd put a gun out and say, well, what do you want? Open with a chain on the door, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> but here in, in, in Bharatvasha, they, they have the culture when a guest comes, it's a, a titi is like Vishnu, you treat him like Vishnu. So if Krishna comes, he's treated like Vishnu, he is Vishnu, so then it's no problem. But if, but if they offend him and send him away, then they go to hell, so then they, it, it would defeat the purpose of him coming. So therefore, he generally, he, he always see he appears in Bharatvasha, where they, they have this culture. <clears throat> so Krishna sent his pure devotee there to, to the West, to those uncivilized places. <clears throat> and um, and by Prabhupada's mercy, we're all here from all around the world. We actually got the opportunity to come to the Holy Dham, which is the most favorable situ situation for executing devotional service. Uh, so that is a good fortune, the association of the Pure devoted, they create so much good fortune for everyone. So this is celebrate this day as a the, the, a great day for the world when uh, modern civilization and the future of the world actually, oh, uh, uh, 
start with this momentous <coughs> task and, 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 and set foot on the uh, shores of uh, America. <coughs> Thank you.